Hey guys, it's Skezzy again, and I wanted to just check out on uh, my RS Idle thing. It says I was offline for 42 minutes while I was editing the first episode, um, and I, I had a concern uh, when I was talking to my friend. They said that, uh, you know, they left it for two days, and they came back, and uh, they earned so much blue anima that it actually crashed his game, so... I don't know if there's a way I can turn it off while I'm like after I'm done, you know, recording, or if that's not really how this is supposed to work. But I got some blue anima earned and red anima a few drops. But the thing is, like, I have almost one million blue anima now, and thirty-six thousand red anima. So literally, I could go on here, do some mining, and then go into my skill tab, and like, just level it up a bunch. Like I could level this up. To level five already, and now I'm level five. So I don't know how much anima he had, but now I'm level five in in mining, which I feel like uh, I really hope that it goes, it scales up, so it, like it doesn't take one hour to just get to level, you know, five mining from just like blue anima. Also, I don't know if it is his computer was like not that good. Um, my computer is an absolute beast, so it should be alright, um, but anyways, I'm gonna record this episode, um, I'm assuming that you guys liked the first episode, and, uh, I'll just do another 20 minutes or so of this, and, uh, get it done. By the gods, you are as the mess- oh, yeah, okay, I read this. I'm just I think I've come to help you, well, no, blah, 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 he needs help with, uh, mining. Should be able to get the hang of it. Uh, what do you mean, the hang of it? Not your lordship. Okay. Get uh, complete mining 10 times. Get 16 citizens to learn the smithing skill and the uh, mining skill. And then complete smithing 5 times. So, go here. We got... What is this? 13, 8. So, this is the amount left. This is the amount we've done. Okay. Interesting. And then we need to get 16 people on this. Which we can easily afford... Because of all the anima that we have. And then we also, I believe, need 16 on the smithing skill, right? 16 citizens to learn smithing. There we go. Actually, that maxed out, so it's interesting. I do want to leave that for a second, and I want to go back to um, combat. Look at my attack skill. Uh, I can level that up if I felt like it, which I may as well. Level that up. Now it's level 2 in attack. So, oh, but I can't train my attack level here. That's interesting. Um, fract Fractal. Your character multiplies and works on all skill tiles in the current town for 20 sec 25 seconds. Interesting. Um, I don't want him to work on these skills. I'm going to go to my map and go back to Draenor Village. Got a couple more quests here. But what I want to do is I want to go to the attack skill, and I actually want to attack. How do I... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I want to actually attack. How do I go into combat into, like, a dungeon or something? Try to figure it out. Okay, I asked my friend, and he told me that um, the Lumbridge Catacombs, the ones that have the skull over it are the where you can do uh, train your um, your combat. So travel to this dungeon. I do want to, uh, I'd want to train my attack. Um, can I? I can. I can do all that. So start a dungeon. <clears throat> I can. Do, I can do it all at the same time. That's weird. Interesting. Definitely got a lot better. What is this? Dungeoneering remaining enemies level plus one. Weird. Okay. This is not hard at all to do this. And the last guy, although I am taking a lot of damage. Um. So I'm going to leave, I am going to level up my 
attack easily. Level up my Dungeoneering. I don't know what that does for the ability though. So go back to here, travel to the dungeon, and I have full life points again. That is so funny. So, huh, interesting. I feel like that's too easy though. 44 damage? Well, how am I hitting so much with my melee? I'm hitting 44s with my melee. Interesting. Alright, I won that one. I can't take on a new wave, but what I can do is uh, I'm going to go back to Lumberge Castle and see how the mining is almost done. And then what else do we need for the quest? Oh, the mining is actually done, actually. Okay. Um, no, one more time, sorry. And then smithing needs to be done 15 times. Or five times. What's this one? I'll do hasten. Train that. What did what is this? Oh, this is for the other guy. So I guess I it's cause I had two quests. So boom. And then we'll do this one. See if we can get that one done fast. And then character multiplies and works on all skill tiles in the current town for twenty five seconds. So we'll do that. I guess. Alrighty guys, so I was away for a little bit. I have accrued some blue uh, anima, but also I found in the settings that you can change the game resolution uh, all the way up to 1920 by 1080, which is kind of what I want because that's pretty much my screen, what I have, and so it's pretty much full screen. And uh, let's see what we have for quests. We can complete this. Uh, we can complete this one here we can claim the reward here you are Fred is this enough ore to tide you over perfect thanks Gizzy. and my tools thank you kind of too so quest complete round trip reward earned gnome goggles mining speed plus five blue anima plus five when doing mining construction and uh, speed for construction as well range output eight percent nice so um, and then I can claim this other reward as well, Duke Horatio. Uh, my word, in the span of a few hours, you have accomplished what may have taken months. Actually, it took me less than a couple hours. Yeah, it's kind of my thing. Are there any other tasks I could help with? Of course. Uh, we can now do fletching and uh, HP. So that's cool. But, um... Hmm. What can I do now? I can level up my mining and smithing. And I can equip this for my head. Boom. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. So now what I want to do is... Wait. What does it tell me to do? Fletching. Uh, is a new skill that I can work on. But I do want to go to um, the Lumberge Catacombs again. And to do some more, uh, some more killing. Um, so now we have... What is this? Oh, level up the uh, HP there. So we'll do that and we'll start a dungeon and see how it goes. Oh yeah. Hmm, it's leveling up my health, but what is that doing for me? Oh, that means next wave I'll have... No, it doesn't. I don't know what that means. Huh. I'll figure it out. Alrighty, and the last guy is here. Hmm. I'm, I'm still not sure really what that does. Choose your name and character. Wait, what? That was... That was weird. That's like, I guess, if you want to change your name. These guys are level 2 here. 
so. Hmm. Alrighty, I did that, and I'm getting low on health, so I'm going to leave. I don't know what that does other than training. Word has reached me that you've already delved into the depths of Lumbridge Catacombs to confront the evil that resides there. That is a great deal more dramatic than I would have described it, but yes. Well, I'm looking for someone who can recover my family sigil um, from the Lumbridge Catacombs. It's a sacred crest dating back generations. Sure. I'll take a look for your sigil. Though it might be like looking for a needle in a haystack. I shall reward you handsomely for your efforts. Okay, so... It wants me to do combat anyways. Kill 15 warped rats in Lumbridge Catacombs. Kill 15 crawling corpse torsos in Lumbridge Catacombs. Complete fi uh, HP 5 times in Lumbridge Castle. Get 18 citizens to learn HP in Lumbridge Castle. Okay, so let's do this. HP and range and then start the dungeon. Very good. I'll come back when I'm done with this quest. Alrighty, next wave. Bunch of rats. There we go, the last rat. Uh, let's see how the quest is coming along. 15 warped rats. What is it? What? Complete HP five times in Lumbridge Castle. What does that, what does that mean? What does that mean? Complete HP five times. I don't know what that means. Taking a bunch of damage here. Hope I can level up my range level, so that's good. Remaining enemies level plus one. I don't know what this is. Honestly, I don't know what it is. This guy's level four, so. Wow. All right, we're going to take him down, and then I'm going to go back to the town and see what happened with the quest. Boom. To town. So, oh. That's how I do it. I guess. Um, complete 5 HP times in Lumbridge Castle. Yeah, okay, that's how I do that. And then get 18 citizens to learn this. So, 18, boom. That will save that, that one's complete. I'm just gonna kill a bunch more guys and level that a couple of times. And there we go, figured I'd use hasten to, you know, speed this one up here. And we did that completed. So now we just gotta kill 15 crawling corpse torsos. Okay, so boom, boom, and boom. I think that's right, right? I don't know, man. These are corpse spiders, but it wants me to kill crawling corpse torsos. I don't know. I can't find them. Aha, these are the crawling corpse torsos. It's these zombie-like things. I just gotta kill, what, five, 10 more of those? And I got defeated, so I gotta go back to the town. Um, what what do we say about leveling up our uh, attack a couple times? Can we do that? No, we cannot. We can maybe level up our range. That will help. And then also our HP level. So, And then dungeoneering as well. I don't know what the dungeoneering one does, but it takes a really long time to get that to done. Um, I just bring that up to 20. Bring that up to, oops, I meant to do 20. Let me do that to 21 as well. Uh, just to get some more blue anima coming in, and then we will do some more catacombs. So there's a lot of uh, combat related stuff in this episode. There we go, I got 13 out of 15 of the rats and 10 out of 15 of the crawling torsos. It's giving me more rats than anything. So, I don't know, the ratio is kind of skewed. But that makes you gotta, you know, 
do more progress and stuff. We're almost halfway to level 5 attack. So that's cool. Oh, here we go. Some crawling corpse torsos. Thing is, though, they're very, they become very, very difficult. Uh, wave, two, wave 2 out of 6. Oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> he does 196. Wow. Hold on a second. Can I just, like... Can I level my attack real quick? Get my my attack level to, like, 10 or some crap? This is going to be cool if using Fractal for 25 seconds. It'll speed all my skills at the same time. That's nice. And then also use Hasten. Oh, my God. If you use those together... What? Hunter. Fishing. What? <laughs> That is so cool. It's just like a huge burst. And I'm almost level 5 attack. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, and now we can level up to level 5. Which, it's not going as fast as I expected it to. But, I mean, it is an idle game, right? So, I'm just going to go into the catacombs again. And see if I can, you know, get this guy down. We don't know. Let's We'll find out. You know what, too, though? Um, after this dungeon, I'm going to go back to the town. I want to see if I can grab... If I can start smithing and mining. If I can grab... Uh, like, will I be able to make stuff with this? I don't know. Ooh, I do have some sort of power-up. All damage is multiplied by 2 for 22 seconds. There we go. This will help me. Next wave. Go, 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 go. Kill, 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 kill. Alrighty, so we just finished this quest, so what can we get as a reward? My word, you're glorious, absolutely stupendous. Uh, I'm just trying not to lose it again. Try not to lose it again. Um, hardened leather body, dungeoneering, red anima, plus 6%, dungeoneering, citizen's cost, slayer! I can now use slayer, do slayer, cool. Uh, 5,000 red anima, constitution, uh, HP, plus 2, and lumbage castle, crafting, herbler, slayer, magic. Awesome. So now... Uh, we can get rid of this, and we can now use Slayer. Remove enemy buffs. Interesting. Okay, and this one... 50 magic damage. What? I can level up my range. Next wave. Oh, it does take a while, though. Hmm. The uh, melee damage seems to hit twice, even though I'm not on uh, a buff or anything like that. It's definitely much better with uh, with this magic damage here. Alrighty, so... Oh, we have one more wave. Can we finish all of these waves? That would be awesome. It would be awesome if we can give all, get all these done now. It's funny, it's actually slower to level your uh, levels in, in this game than is the actual game so far, from what I've seen. I think that's kind of funny. I don't want to get. I don't want these guys to get the chance to hit me. There we go. Is there, is there some sort? Of, oh yeah, double, double damage. Yeah, buddy. This will help me out a lot. That will help me out so much. Yeah. There we go. All right, and this is the last guy. So nice. Wow. What happens if I do next wave? Interesting. Hmm. Scuzzy, I require your expertise. What's going on? We're receiving an important gift from Falador, a knowledgeable man by the name of Wyson. I wish you to surprise him with a gift. We'll give you thinking. I wish to construct him a set of tools made from adamantite. Uh, though the metal is rare in Lombridge, are you up to the task? I shall reward you handsomely. Yep. I'll see what I can do. Wonderful. Okay, so complete smithing ten times in Lumbridge, complete crafting three times in Lumbridge, uh, and I will get this. So, what was it? Smithing? Got to work on this one. Uh, speed it up. And then crafting three times. So we'll do this and come back when we're done. In the meantime, I can now equip this hard leather body, which is nice. Doesn't look too great, though. Also wonder why my guy is blue. That's weird. Um, but on here, I can 
what can I do with construction? I don't know. That's the one I'm on. Okay. Cool. Very good. Alrighty, just finished the smithing. Now we can work on some crafting. This one's going to take a while, isn't it? Two minutes each level. Wow. I have a complex task, but one of those who... Blah, blah, blah. I'm listening. Magical academies are rare in Gilinor, but I believe there is talent in Kingdom to warrant opening one here. Will you help us build such a place and help us teach the first generation of wizards using your mysterious talents? Uh, I like the sound of this school. I'll be happy to build it. You are wonder scuzzy. Okay, so you are you are a hairy wizard. <laughs> okay, um, get fifteen citizens to learn. Complete two magic two times in Lumbered Castle. Get fifteen citizens to learn construction. Interesting. Okay, I'm still working on this one though. Complete crafting three times in Lumbered Castle, which is what I'm doing. We gotta wait a couple minutes though. Weiss and may I introduce to you scuzzy. Our city's finest artisan and journal giant, journey giant even, a true helper and friend of the realm. I see. Tell me, do you know anything about craft or botany? Um, I think so. If you're ever in Falador, please track me down. I could definitely use some help. Sweet. So I completed a quest. I didn't even realize. Um, we got mining is is faster, more output, max HP, crafting plus one in Lumberge Castle. Uh, awesome. A new town, which is awesome. Smithing, we can level up. Crafting, we... What did we... We finished it. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Scuzzy, I must speak to you at once. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Technically, I think it was a shade, but mm, that's not important. Scuzzy, I, I am plagued with visions of dark creature lurking... Of a dark le creature lurking in the catacombs with my own face. With your own face. I fear that a vengeful spirit is haunting me, preparing to strike. Please, will you seek out the monster and destroy it? Sure. I will do, Caricio. Stay stay with your guards until I return. My eternal thanks, Scuzzy. Okay, so we got some pretty big quests here. I need Slayer level 4. Kill one evil dukes in the Lubbridge Catacombs. Get 15 citizens to learn Dungeoneering. Uh, and then get 15 citizens to learn Slayer. So I gotta get 15 people to do that, which I can't afford. And then I need 15 people to learn Dungeoneering, which I can't afford either. But um, we will go check out the catacombs and see if we can find these guys. So there we go. We uh, want to start with range. And then name, and then mage. Oh, what is this? All town skills generate both red and blue anima for 25 seconds. Huh. But we can do this one. Yeah, we want to do this one for 24 seconds, and then this one to speed it up. Kind of nice. Although magic does take a while to do. Um, yeah, I want to do some herb war. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go on to the magic, I think. Well, you know what I can do? Um, I can go into the skills and go to combat and then look at my magic and then just level that up. I could technically just do that, right? Is that how that works? Uh... No, it wants me to level it up at in Lumbridge. This one's probably one that I want to level up. There. Yeah, so. Uh, buy one more of those, and then I need a couple more for the Dungeoneering, right? For the quest. Uh, Dungeoneering. Oh, I only need a 15 for Slayer. How do I kill... Oh, this is going to be close. I got one HP left. Oh my god. <laughs> I won. 
I finished the Lumbridge Catacombs. Awesome. Uh, back to town. What what does that do for me? Um, kill one evil dukes in the Lumbridge Catacomb. I don't I don't know where that is. Uh, but let me grab a couple more citizens. Uh, I can almost get one more. Um, hasten. I could hasten that. Oh, nice. Can get that one pretty quick. Oh, what is also this? Both red and blue anima for 20, 25 seconds. May as well do that, right? That one's gonna go back to a minute. What the heck is this? What? I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not good enough to kill that guy. What the, what the hell is this? Wow. Creepy. I'm not good enough to kill that guy. Huh. Alrighty, so I'm not sure kind of where I left off last time, uh, but I got to level 9 mining. It did take a while. I was helping my brother with some math, but I do want to go back, and uh, I think, actually, I am going to end this episode here. Uh, it is getting rather long, and uh, maybe next time we can take a look at Falador. Uh, Falador, excuse me. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Peace.